Hi guys, Merry Christmas. So today's video is going to be a Christmas Day PR unboxing. I figured this would be the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and open all my PR packages. This is kind of like my Christmas morning, you know, adult version. Um, so yeah, it is Christmas morning. I'm still in my Christmas PJs. I don't know if you can see. Hey, hey, hey. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this PR unboxing. I don't want to take too long because I have to edit this video and get it up for you guys on Christmas Day. So the first package I want to start off with, I was actually really intrigued because it was sent to me overnight and it was delivered on Christmas Eve. So I'm really curious what was that urgent that needed to be delivered overnight on Christmas Eve. And it was actually this one right here so, oh wow okay so this first one is from mac this is the mac patent paint lip lacquers and these are already out these were available as of december 19th so it is a new collection and this is what our package looks like right here and then we got this cute little box and then inside looks like this so these are all the products. So I have a MAC Prep and Prime lip base, which I've actually never tried this lip base, but I know that it's really popular. Just looks like that, comes out clear. It's supposed to make your lip products go on smoother and just last longer. And then I have three MAC lip pencils. So I have Chestnut, Night Moth, and Cherry. If I'm talking a little bit weird, you guys, I'm still actually getting over a cold, so that's why. But yeah, so I think I have Chestnut and Night Moth. I do not have Cherry. I don't think I have Cherry. So, but these are awesome, awesome lip liners. And then I have six of the new Pat Patent Paint Lip Lacquers. And I believe they have 15, so I have six of them here. And I am going to go ahead and just swatch these for you because actually I'm really interested for myself too. Um, as far as the formula the finish of these is supposed to be shiny because they're like a gloss It says that they have a vinyl effect gloss that provides instant moisturization and lasts all day with a color payoff that never bleeds Lightweight and non-sticky. So I definitely can attest to that creaminess. It's also really lightweight It does not feel sticky um, on my hand and then so far the color that I'm swatching is very very pigmented so these are all the shades in their tubes and then these are the swatches right here like I said they are very very pigmented very creamy and then the colors from top to bottom are latex love vinyl underground polish prize major glazer slick flick and shellac shot those are really really pretty so next, I'm going to take this one right here, slap dab in the middle. This one I know is from Diva Curl. They have their little Diva Curl label, and I'm really, really excited because I have not yet tried any Diva Curl styling products. Um, so I do want to do a full video, like showing you guys my first Diva Curl wash and go. I think I might do that really soon. It might, might even be like my next hair video after this one. As far as styling products that I have been using, I have so many different products, but I have not delved into them yet. Just because I do YouTube, I kind of want to give my first impressions on my channel, so that's the reason I've only really been sticking to two products. So you guys saw me use the Curl Maker. I also used the Uncle Funky's Daughter, but those are the only two like styling gels that I've used. It's been really, really hard not to um, use any other products, but like I said, I definitely wanted to do it on here for you guys. So there's a little note in my Diva Curl package. It says, hey Gabby, we are so excited to welcome you to the Diva community. and close are some goodies we think you'll love, including our latest launches, High Shine and Diva Fresh. So the High Shine I was really interested in. I think that's like the, the mist. It's kind of like a hair oil mist, and it's supposed to make your hair really, really shiny. So I'm really excited to try that. And then the Diva Fresh, I think, is their um, refresher. So let me show you guys the inside of the box. So the inside of the box just looks like that. So let's see. So we have the Diva Curl Believe In. Really, really excited to try this. I've heard really good things about the Believe In. The Diva Curl Styling Cream. This is supposed to be a really good styling cream as well. The new High Shine Multi Benefit Oil. 
Diva Fresh Scalp and Curl Revitalizer. So that's a refresher, refreshing spray. Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. So I do own the Diva Curl Arc Angle Angel Gel. I haven't used it yet, of course, but I do own that one. So I'm happy to be able to kind of try like two different ones and kind of compare those. And then I have the Diva Curl One Condition Original, which is their conditioner. And then the Diva Curl No Poo, which is like their conditioning cleanser. It's kind of like a co-wash because it doesn't lather up. Um, so I haven't tried any of these products. So I'm really, really excited to try these out. If you guys use Diva Curl, let me know like out of these products, if you've tried them, which ones are your favorite. So thank you so much, Diva Curl. So these next products here are also hair products. These are from Luxbox Curl. Um, Genesis, the owner, actually messaged me. I believe it was, was it on Instagram? She either Instagram messaged me or she emailed, I think she emailed me and asked me if I wanted to try some of her products. So I definitely agree. She is a smaller, uh, black-owned brand, women-owned, so definitely love to support those types of businesses. And I've only seen one other channel um, show these products, and that was Mad Curls, but they really, really like them, so I'm excited to try them also. Um, the scents of them looks really, really good. So inside the package, there's just the products all nicely wrapped up. And then we have a little card here with information on the brand. It has her Instagram and her website. So I'll put everything down below in the description for you guys to check that out. So these are the first two products. Over here I have the Blueberry Cream Pie Deep Conditioner. That sounds really, really good. And then the Curl Defining Cream. This one is glycerin and fragrance free. Let me actually smell the Blueberry Pie. Oh my god, you guys. This smells so, so good. It actually does smell like blueberry pie like it doesn't just smell like blueberries it smells like the pie like that warm the crust and all that stuff it smells really really good I'm really excited to try this out and it looks like she uses really really good ingredients as well there's only like a few ingredients and I definitely can pronounce pronounce them and know what they are so that's always good there's no sulfate silicones or mineral oil and I believe the whole line is curly girl friendly as well so that is amazing handmade as well which is really awesome and I think they might even be like made to order so that's really really cool and then over here I have the African black soap shampoo which I have tried another African black soap soap shampoo and I believe it even came in a similar bottle to this one like with this little nozzle that you put in um, these shampoos are kind of more on the liquidy side they're very interesting but the one that I tried was from Alake Naturals and that one was really really moisturizing and I did like it so I'm excited to try this one out as well and then I have the Pina Colada leave-in this one was one of the ones I was most excited to try just because of the smell or the, the name of it and I wanted to see what it would smell like, so you know I gotta smell it. Oh, mmm, this one smells really, really good too. It's just the right, I think I got it on my nose. <laughs> it's just the right amount of smell too. It's not like that gnawing, like overwhelming pina colada. It smells really, really good. And the next two products here are the Cotton Candy Jello. This is a oatmeal and flax seed gel. The texture or the consistency of this is really interesting. It's really liquidy so I'm really curious about this one. And then also I have the Lux Hair Growth Oil which is infused with fenugreek, ginger, and hibiscus. So these are all the products from Lux Lux Curls. Thank you so much to Genesis for sending these products over. I'm really excited to try these out. And I'll definitely be doing a video review on these as well. I think she sent me pretty much the whole line. Actually, there's, I think, two products missing. I know she has a refresher and, like, a twisting butter. But this is definitely enough to give you guys, like, a good review of the line. So I'll be trying these soon. Look out for that. So next, I'm just going to take this package right in front of me. This one is from... Cover Girl. So it says Cover Girl True Blend Undercover. Unlock your True Blend Undercover Concealer. 30 shades, full coverage, and vegan formula. So this is their concealer launch. They did send me not too long ago, and I did a whole video on the True Blend Matte Made Foundation, and those are really good. So these are supposed to be the concealers that go with it and they have this little wheel right here which shows um, I'm T10 in the foundation so it shows the shades that I should or probably would wear in the concealer so take this off and then inside these are our products so it looks like they sent the true blend minerals loose mineral powder 
True Blend Sun <laughs> True Blend Sun Stunner Hyper Glow. I think those are highlighters or bronzers? Highlighters. And then they sent another one of the foundations in my shade and then those three concealers that they recommend. There's a hydrating primer and then they sent a few brow products. These are the Easy Breezy Brow. There's a couple different colors in here. And these powders, I'm actually really intrigued. I just realized this one actually says banana. So it's a banana shade powder, which I have banana powder and I actually use the Laura, Laura Mercier powder as well, which is translucent, translucent, but it's kind of like that warm banana-ish shade. So I'm really excited to try um, their banana powder and it has this little poof right here. Okay, so this is really interesting. Their banana powder, um, the texture looks really, really nice and smooth, first of all, but it does have a little bit of like a luminous finish. It has some very, very tiny, you won't be able to see, but very, very tiny um, shimmers in it. So I don't think I've ever tried a banana powder like that. So I'm interested to try that one out. Okay, so I just made a really, really big mess. Um, this is the translucent one. I just want to see if it's also like that shimmery. Uh, yeah, so it is also that same um, like shimmery finish as well. There was actually another highlighting powder underneath. So they actually sent me three shades of highlighters. So these look really, really pretty actually. They have a nice um, color payoff. They are a little bit on the chalky or powdery side. Um, but once you apply them, they don't they don't um, keep that finish. So all of these are really, really pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see them there. I'm not going to delve into every product, but I am really curious about these concealers. So it has a really nice, thick doe foot applicator. This is very, very reminiscent of the um, Tarte Shape Tape. It actually feels almost identical as far as like the applicator. So I think that the colors that they recommended for me match pretty, pretty good. And they do blend out very, very nicely. They are like really rich and creamy, so I like the consistency of them. Yeah, so thank you so much, CoverGirl. I'm really excited to try these products. If you guys have tried any of these, let me know what you thought about them. So next, I'm just going to take this little one right up here. I'm really curious what could be in this little tiny package. Um, I think this company might have emailed me. This is La Potion... Infini, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, um, by Argentum, Argentum, Argentum. So the packaging looks really, really nice. And on the back, it has a little seal that says natural organic ingredients. Um, oh, okay. So underneath it says it's a hydrating, protective day and night cream, which is good because I've actually been looking for a new moisturizer. I ran out of my moisturizer, so this is actually perfect. Um, and this is what it looks like inside. Again, it's packaged really, really nice. It looks luxurious. And then they do give you one of these little scoops to get the product out so that way it can stay hygienic. You don't want to be dipping your hands in there and then it accumulates bacteria and everything. And then there's another little seal here. So it has a very like musky, like patchouli type scent. The scent is really, really interesting. I'm not that fond of like a lot of scents in my skincare products because sometimes I can get, my allergies can get irritated, so hopefully this won't do that. I just want to put, ooh, this feels really, really nice. Like I'm not even exaggerating. It feels so, so good. The scent is, I just wish it didn't have that scent, but it feels really, really good. So if it doesn't irritate my allergies, then I'll definitely, um, like hopefully it doesn't like linger after it soaks into your skin and uh, it doesn't irritate my allergies but if it doesn't then this might be my new moisturizer it's supposed to be for your face eyes and neck so that's good that way you don't have to like purchase an eye cream separately I don't see anything like too crazy in the ingredients it doesn't have silicone which I was when I was looking for a new moisturizer, a lot of the moisturizers you guys have silicones in them. I don't really want silicones in my moisturizers, but this does not, so excited to try this out. Thank you to Argentum. Alright, so inside we have this, and this is from L'Oreal. It's the Rouge Signature Liquid Lipsticks. L'Oreal has really good liquid lipsticks. They actually sent me the macaroon macaroon collection not too long ago and those stayed on so so good i did some swatches over on instagram oh this is really really nicely packaged so these are what the liquid lips 
look like and I'll do a couple of swatches for you guys. So I went ahead and just swatched all the colors for you guys. This is what it looks like right here. And the consistency of these is really unusual. They actually have a gel-like consistency in my opinion. They're not like really creamy. No makeup feel of a stain combined with the color impact of a liquid lipstick. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense because I guess they're supposed to be more like a stain liquid lipstick hybrid. So that's why that consistency wasn't really creamy. It was more like jelly. Um, so I'm really curious about these. They haven't dried all the way down so they're not all the way matte yet. If you guys have tried them, let me know. They do have a really light scent to them as well, if you're curious. Um, and yeah, they definitely do stain. I don't know if you can see. I think you guys can see, but they did stain my hand. So they are going to be more like a stain, um, especially those pinkier colors. So thank you so much to L'Oreal for sending these out. And this one exposes itself because it says Urban Decay Stay Naked. I'm not sure what products were sent, but we do have a little bit of a hint. Okay, I don't know why, but I'm really struggling with this one. Okay, I just hit myself on the lips. Mess up my lipstick. So this is what it looks like when we finally get the package open. It says, stay you, stay naked. So I do remember this. They actually emailed me and they asked me um, my shades and these products. So it includes the stay naked, stay naked weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear. Um, I wasn't sure my color, so I picked the 51WY. Um, I'll test that in a second. Stay naked correcting concealer up to 24 hour wear. I think this is the new product, not sure. Um, but I got 50WY and then I have the Stay Naked Threesome, which is a up to 14 hour wear bronzer, highlighter, and blush. So it's a little palette. And then I have, or this might be the new product. I'm not sure. Um, but this is the Stay Naked The Fix 16 hour wear powder foundation with charcoal infused sponge. Interesting. So I'm really hoping that I pick the right shade in the... Oh, this is really, really nice. It is plastic, but it kind of looks like glass. Interesting packaging. Um, but I picked the... What was this again? 51WY, which is supposed to be a warm undertone, yellow undertone, and a medium shade intensity. It was really hard to pick the color. I did go over to Sephora's website. Um, to look at their like their shade finder, but that thing's not always accurate. Yeah, that shade looks really good actually. Looks almost like the same shade as my hand. So I think I did a really good job. I'm not sure about oxidizing. So if you've tried it, let me know. But the finish and the coverage, the coverage is really nice, and then the finish is really nice as well. So I can't wait to try that. I'm really excited for that one. So I've been needing some new foundation also because I normally, well, I go between two foundations, the Fenty Beauty, which I think I'm the 330 in that one, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. Those are like my two favorite, but I ran out of my Fenty, so I'm down to just the Double Wear Light. So this is supposed to be 24 hours, and I love long-wearing foundation, so I hope it lives up to those claims. I went a little bit lighter with my selection on my concealer, because I like a little bit of a highlighting effect and I think this is actually perfect. It has like a yellowish undertone. And again, I picked the 50WY, which is a medium warm yellow. And then for the powder, I got the 51NN. Um, they didn't have a correlating powder for every single foundation. Um, this actually looks a little bit light, but if I do like a light brushing, I don't think, I don't think it'll did I break it? Okay, it snaps back. I thought I broke it for a second. Um, if I do like a light dusting, I don't think it'll be that big of a difference. Actually, let me just, before I even, ooh. Whoa. Guys, this feels like butter. I've never put my finger in a face powder like this. This is, you guys gotta go try this. This is really weird. It feels like a velvety smooth. Okay. Anyway, um, the powder, yeah, again, it's a little bit light, so I'll probably go up maybe to the next shade. But then again, actually, as I'm putting on and blending, it doesn't look to be that full coverage. It does claim to be full coverage, I believe. Yeah. It says micro fine powder. Definitely agree with that. 
Transform skin with seamless, instant full coverage, breathable, real skin matte finish, does not transfer, stays true to color, water resistant, sweat resistant, vegan formula, does not contain annual derived ingredients or byproducts. That's a lot, but it sounds sounds real good. Um, yeah, definitely has that really nice smooth texture, but as far as full coverage, I'm not sure about that. And this is the little palette with our highlighter. This packaging is so, so nice. Like, all these products are so nicely packaged. I really am loving this. Yeah, so this has our highlighter, our bronzer, and our blush. So the bronzer does have a little bit of a shimmery finish. It is um, on the warm side, so it does have a little bit of some red undertones to it. The highlighter is like a golden highlighter, and then the blush is like a coral. But these shades look really pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see those swatches. But it looks really nice. The um, bronzer is a little bit more shimmery than what I'd normally use. But I'd probably just use that on the cheeks and not all over the face. But it would give like a really, I can see that giving like a nice warm sun-kissed glow. So again, packaging, they killed it with this packaging. This packaging is amazing. And all these products are supposed to be um, long wearing once again. So excited to try these. If you guys have tried any of these, I'm really curious um, how you liked them. I know I saw some reviews on the foundation and a lot of people seem to really, really like it. So thank you so much, Urban Decay. I can't wait to try these products. All right, so this is our next box right here. So this one is from Pistol. Enjoy these fall winter wonders from Plant Apothecary. Oh, so on the top, there's these little gummy bears. That's really cute. Okay, so we got two products here. My camera just died, so I hope that didn't shift things too much. But we have here a body wash. So this is called Start Happy. And it's made with 100% natural ingredients and organic oils. And the scent is geranium and peppermint. It smells really, really good. It smells really... Um, pepperminty like really nice and refreshing so I can see why they called it start happy it could probably like wake you up in the morning with that pepperminty smell and then super soak is the next product that's a really like fun name super soak like super soaker <laughs> and this one is super soak organic healing bath eucalyptus and lemongrass and this one is organic organic <laughs> something that I was reading on the back it says no parabens Petroleum, phthalates, SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfates, dimethicone, synthetic fragrances, preservatives, or animal derived products. Um, and it also says here that plant products are made with the help of adults with physical and mental disabilities. So that's also really, really cool. Hmm. Oh, I was not, <laughs> woo, I was not prepared for that. Very, very strong, very concentrated. I'm sure it's supposed to be like that because you're only supposed to put a very small amount. It says one fourth cup into your bath. Um, so yeah, that was very strong. I do smell, I'm a bath, it says it has yellow mustard seed. I smell that mustard seed like really, really strong. Um, so I don't wanna judge it now, but as of now, that scent is a little too much for me. But again, you're supposed to dilute it into a bath. So hopefully when you dilute it into the bath, you know, it won't be that overwhelming. Um, but this smells really, really good. So excited to try these. Thank you, Plant Apothecary. Oh, so this one's really, really cute. I can't, well, I can show you. This is, um, this one came to my P.O. box. But on the front of the package here, it says they printed a label and it actually has my name. It says, Gabby, we are so happy to meet you. And this is for, from... Aurus, A-U-R-A-S-S, -S, Beauty. I, I hope I pronounced that right. And this package actually came all the way from Singapore. So that's interesting. Oh, this is really cute. So inside here, a whole bunch of little like <laughs> rose gold or is that rose gold? Yeah, like rose gold confetti came out. Um, but these are lashes. These look really, really nice already. Let me just take these little cards out. It says that they are handmade 3D false lashes uh, founded by Elena, who believe that women should support and help each other rise. Fun fact, we're based in Singapore. 
And our lashes are cruelty-free mink lashes that give you an extra oomph you love. Each and every pair is 100% handmade with love, are not chemically treated or dyed to maintain their rich velvet-like appearance to accentuate your eyes. So these are all the lashes here. They all look really, really nice. And they also sent one of these little lash applying tools. And it's actually metal. It's metal rose gold. It feels really, really nice little confetti in there <laughs> these are all the styles and I really like the packaging too it feels really really nice it has a little tab and it just pulls off to the side so definitely something you can use to restore your lashes um, once you take them off you definitely want to reuse these several times these aren't like one these aren't like a uh, one wear lashes these are really high quality I can definitely tell that so thank you so much to Aris Beauty. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'll link her information down below. So this next package is from Kaleidoscope. Oh, wow, we have a whole bunch of goodies in here. This is what it looks like. So I went ahead and unwrapped everything. So these are our products here. So this brand, brand I believe, gained popularity on Instagram and was most known for this product right here. And these are the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops, and this is the original formula. Uh, it says, enriched with a special blend of ingredients that repair damaged hair, stimulate scalp, and add moisture to hair. So this is supposed to like encourage hair growth, it's like a hair growth oil. So never tried that, but I'm very excited to try that. So I have two shampoos and two conditioners. So I have the Moisture Silk Shampoo and Growth System, which is deep hydration for damaged hair. And then I have the therapeutic shampoo and growth therapeutic shampoo and growth system, which is balancing and clarifying treatment. So once a moisturizing shampoo, once clarifying shampoo. I'm just looking at the back of the ingredients, and I do not see um, any sulfates listed, so that's good because I don't I don't use sulfate shampoos or try to stay away from them. Ooh, that smells really really good. That has like a sweet like cocoa vanilla scent, and this one's actually blue, and it has a really really nice fresh scent to it and then uh, two conditioners so I have the moisture silk conditioner which is moisturizing and then I have the therapeutic conditioner which refines hair texture and vitality and I do not see any silicones in the ingredients so it's looking like these products are curly girl friendly which is good this one smells like the shampoo so it has like 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 that cocoa vanilla scent I'm thinking this is gonna smell like the other shampoo yep and it's also like a bluish greenish guys I cannot it's very very hard to talk because I'm just so congested and like ugh, I just hate being sick but anyway this is the five in one reconstructor stops shedding and rebuilds and repairs so I'm not what is this product it says you're supposed to apply to wet cleansed hair leave in two to five minutes rinse well follow with styling product for severely damaged hair apply the reconstructor then cover with hair processing cap and exposed to heat for five to ten minutes so I think it's like a deep conditioning treatment I do see um, protein in the ingredients it has a really um, nice refreshing scent but it is a little bit different than the other products and then I have this product here which is called the milkshake it's a leave-in detangler spray great for natural hair and hair extensions so it's just a really light leave-in Mmm, I think this is what I was smelling. This smells so, so good. And it says that it detangles, adds body, leaves hair glossy, nourish, and frizz-free. Um, as I'm looking at the ingredients, not in the beginning of the ingredients list, but a little lower down, it has amodimethicone, which is a silicone. So if you um, don't use silicones, you might want to stay away from this. Um, I don't mind using silicones. <clears throat> Um, as I've stated in the past, I don't really have that big of an issue with them. I definitely stay away from sulfates though, so I'm glad that the shampoos do not have sulfates. Um, I also have these two products here, or items. Um, so they sent an edge brush, which I'm really happy to have because we go through these things. I don't know where they go, but in this house, like, they just disappear. I think I've had like five edge brushes. And I'm down to now using a toothbrush again because I can't find any of them. So this one I'm going to stash away to myself. And then this I'm out of as well, which is edge control. So this is Kaleidoscope Sleek Edges Edge Control. So, ooh, that smells really, really fruity. 
um, and it's actually purple so that's interesting feels like a similar texture to the edge control that I was using that I was really really liking which that disappeared on me as well so I'm gonna put this aside um, it does have a little bit of like that like that greasy like pomade it's like a pomade type um, edge control more so than like a gel edge control and oh we actually have one more product is this another one? Oh, okay so they sent another one this one is miracle edges okay so this one was sleek edges the purple pomade and then this one is miracle edges and this one is clear and it is a different consistency this one's more like a uh, gel like it still has a little bit of like that pomade feel but it's definitely more on the gel side so and this one has a fresh scent to it so I'll link these products um, down below. If you guys have tried anything from Kaleidoscope, um, let me know what you tried and how you liked it. I'm really, really curious about these products because I have um, heard really good things about them. So thank you so much to Kaleidoscope. Okay, this is, thank you for doing this UPS. They actually have a little, Never mind, UPS. They have a little full thing, but that didn't really do anything, so. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Let's. Okay, that one worked better, so. Alright, so. Okay. Yep, so that's all. What is this? Oh, this is from Ulta. You know, I think I didn't know this was coming. I just tend to forget. But it says Hi, Gabby, me, Ulta Beauty Collections, new effortless effect hydrating foundation. This vegan formula comes in 26 shades for medium buildable coverage. There's also hyaluronic acid to boost hydration, pomegranate and acai to even skin tone, vitamin E to protect from free radical damage. Retail 16 US dollars. I really, really like this bag. This is really cute. Nice for travel. So they actually sent me five different primers. I didn't even know Ulta carried this many primers, but that's really cool. So there's a hydrating face primer, which is mineral oil free and paraben free. Um, it has, has coconut water in it. Then there's a mattifying primer, which is oil, oil free. <coughs> uh, hate being sick. Mattifying primer, which is oil free, paraben free. Controls shine and blurs your pore, pores. And there's a brightening face primer which is also oil and paraben free which has a light reflecting um, technology and then there's color correcting which is uh, green to reduce redness and then oh one more poreless face primer mineral oil free smooths and refines pores and then they sent me the new effortless effect medium coverage hydrating foundation so i have three different shades i have light warm medium warm and medium peach so i just want to swatch these to see if any of these are going to work uh, for my skin tone the middle shade i think is going to be my shade this is what was it medium warm and then there's medium peach that's a little bit too light i think i might be able to use it like uh as a highlighting shade um, but the middle one will definitely work for me, so I'm excited to be able to try these out. I think that, just from what I'm feeling, like my first impression, I think these would be really good for a dry skin. They do feel very, very hydrating. So thank you so much, Ulta. I can't wait to try out the foundation and the primers. We got a big purple box. Ah! It is what I think, or what I thought. <laughs> So this is from Mo Nose Hair. This is a new Mo Nose Hair collection. So Mo Nose Hair is another YouTuber, but she's also a hairstylist, and she's like an OG natural hair YouTuber. She's been on here for years. Um, she's really, really knowledgeable, really knows her stuff, but she recently came out with her own collection, and it's exclusively available at Sally Beauty, and I've heard some really good things, mixed reviews actually, but mostly good things about this line, so I'm actually really excited to try it out for myself. So actually, I'm, now I'm kind of teetering on, should I do this first or the Diva Curl, because I'm equally excited to try both of them. This is really, really nice packaging. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. So we have our products, beautiful picture of Mo or Monica, 
And then I think this might be the whole, it looks like it might be the whole line. I think she recently may have even expanded the line. So we have a curl primer, curl co-wash and conditioner, scalp clarifier, curl setting gel, curl styling potion, curl restoring treatment, and curl smoothing pudding. Um, in our little pamphlet here, it does also show the curl hydrator shampoo, but it says coming soon. It says coming soon, so I'm not sure if that's available yet um, or or not. But very excited to try these products out. Actually, you know what? I do want to smell them because that's one of the things that the reviews were kind of like mixed on was the smell. Some people liked the smell. Some people said it was like overpowering. I think it's supposed to give you kind of like an aromatherapy type of vibe. So this is the Curl Restoring Treatment. That's what it looks like. It looks really nice and thick. The smell, that smells good to me. You know what this kind of smells like? I, there's a candle that I really like from Bath and Body Works. It's called Tiki Beach. Kind of smells like this. I think it smells really, really good actually. The only thing is I, I do, I'm particular about scents. I don't mind scented things. I just don't like lingering scents, like something you're going to smell in your hair all day long because that just irritates me and gives me a headache. And then my allergies with some scents um, can be irritated. Uh, the Scalp and Curl Clarifier, this has patchouli in it and I know patchouli is really strong. Yeah, it smells kind of just like the, the other products so I'm wondering if they all have the same scent. Kind of. This one's a little bit lighter. I don't mind the scent, you guys. I don't know why people... Maybe when you get in the shower and you actually start using and you actually start styling with the products, maybe it'll be a little more overwhelming. But as I'm just smelling it, maybe because I'm sick, I don't know. It doesn't smell that bad. It smells really, really good to me. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to try these products out. Thank you so much, Sally Beauty, for sending these over. I think this just might have to be my next um, product review. Let me know if this is what you guys want to see next. I think, I think I'll have to do it next. Now this package over here, this was actually not PR. This was a giveaway that I won um, from Instagram from Alakay Naturals. I remember, yeah, it did have some shoe, it had some hair products, but it also, also had a pair of sandals from Shoe Dazzle. Yeah, so these are very, very nice. Nice nude sandal with rhinestones or like, yeah, like, little tiny rhinestones or crystals on them these are really pretty and um you know i live in florida so i can get away with wearing sandals all year round so i will be wearing those soon other products came in this little packaging it says allocate naturals i love allocate naturals products um as i mentioned before i like their shampoo their uh, african black soap shampoo i really like their avocado moist um not moisturizer it's a deep conditioner their refresher spray is my favorite refresher spray so they have several products that i really really like all right so this is what our box looks like here it says hi gabby congrats on winning the giveaway on rochelle's instagram we hope you enjoy the products and sandals xo allocate naturals i will enjoy it i'm sure um, so the first product that I have is actually a body product. This is Tropical Splash Body Icing. So this is like a shea butter, um, like based body butter. Mmm, that smells really, really good. Shea butter is very, very thick, by the way. A very thick product, but as you take it out, it just kind of like melts into your skin, which is what I like. It feels so good. Mmm. It does have like a greasier feel to it, but shea butter but it kind of it just absorbs into the skin like over time the best way to apply it is right out of the shower but this feels really really soft and moisturizing it smells so 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 good so i can't wait to use that all over my body so this next product is a skincare product this is the green tea chai face scrub i'm actually happy that they sent um like some body and skincare because i haven't tried any of their body or skincare products i've only tried their hair products so I'm sure they'll be equally as good. This is a really nice um, jar, nice packaging. It's like a metal brush gold. Mm, it smells really good. I love tea tree oil. It does have a tea tree oil, but it's a little bit sweeter scent to it. 
and it looks to be like a really coarse scrub so I think you could get away with using this on your body as well which I might try one more product this is a hair product this is the lemongrass leave-in conditioner I do own this I do really really like it I'm almost out so I'm really happy to have another one this is a really awesome leave-in it is um, aloe base which I really like aloe base uh, leave-ins and it's really similar to the refresher uh, spray as well so I think I can even use this to refresh my hair but yeah so those are our products from Alake so thank you so much to Alake I'm really excited to try specifically these products because I've never tried them before getting down to the nitty-gritty so I have a another package here so this one is actually from someone one of my followers we follow each other on Instagram she recently launched her own clothing line and she asked if she could send me some things so I definitely agree because her stuff was really cute and I wanted to support so oh cute I didn't even see that so this is uh, what the products came in here I just happened to cut it open but it did have this little zipper at the top but I just destroyed mine um, so we have three different things here we have some socks this is like her little logo so it's called Starvin, but the S kind of looks like a lightning bolt, which I think is really cute. So that's the logo on the socks. And then I also have some slides, some black slides. I wear slides so much. I wear slides all the time, so I will definitely be wearing these. They also have the little logo on there. And oh, I didn't even see this. There's a little sticker too. And then also a shirt. And this is a long sleeve shirt, and then on the sleeves it says starving on both sides, both sleeves. So this is really, this is like a whole little fit. All I need is some like jeans or some shorts. I think this would be really cute. So thank you so much to Star for sending these products over. I will link down below her, um, her Instagram if you guys want to go support. It's a small female black owned business I said we love to support those so definitely go check her out so all we have left now is just these little packets all three of these are from Rimmel so I'm going to open them all together just to save some time all right so a lot of products from Rimmel we actually have five different eyeshadow palettes um, these are the magnified palettes we have all different colors so we have the thunderstorm edition we have the wow edition which is like jewel tones we have the jewel rocks edition which is like a warmer jewel tones rainbow edition which has some like really bright and then the reloaded which is neutral with a pop of color three of the Rimmel stay glossy glosses which I love these glosses I think I did a like a whole video surrounding these uh, years ago but I have honey honey down to gloss and sippin which are all really nice neutral shades I also have three funky colors of the stay matte liquid lip color so I have a gray a black and a purple I have two mascaras I have the scandalized mascaras which uh, mascara which is really good and uh, I also have the wonderlux volume I don't think I've tried this one before it's infused with four luxurious oils and it has a detangling brush interesting and then I have the wonder swipes I have two of the wonder swipes which is a uh, liner these are like metallic like an emerald and a white or pearl scandalized liquid or not liquid but gel eyeliner which comes in a pot with a little brush maxi blush what color is this third base like a light coral wonder brow 24 hour brow mascara then I have six of these lasting finish extreme lipsticks which they come in this type of tube really glide on really nicely so that was everything from Rimmel thank you so much to Rimmel for sending those over and then I have two of these packets from Urban Decay so I have two of these Urban Decay on the run mini eyeshadow palettes I have the full size on the run palette and it's a really really good nice staple palette it has a lot of nice colors in it really pigmented um, so this one's called Highway Queen Ooh, these are pretty these are really pretty nice warm shades and this one is called G-Train which is also really pretty 
which has neutrals with some green with greens in there. I also have Urban Decay All Nighter, which is a staple. I definitely use this every time I put on my makeup. I I usually use either this one or the D Slick. Actually, I'm using the this, this D, D Slick one right now, but either one of them are good. Love the All Nighter. And then I have the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, Urban Decay Primer Potion and Original. Oh, I'm so glad to have this. I'm down to like this much. Um, this is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion, which is a really, really dark black. I actually used it today. Um, so happy to have that. And then Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner, which I think I already have that. And then Black Mail, which is a comfort matte uh, lipstick. These Vice lipsticks are really, really nice. I really like the packaging also. Ooh, I love that color. It's like a vampy. Ooh, this is really pretty. I'm definitely going to be wearing that. It's like a vampy eggplant. So thanks again to Urban Decay for sending those products out. So uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm just trying to look around because my room, if I were to show you right now, is an absolute mess. So hopefully nothing uh, was missed. Um, but that's pretty much everything. So, so I want to give a huge thank you to all the brands that sent me something. I'm very, very appreciative and very grateful for even considering little old me. And I do think for this video I want to do a giveaway. I'm just going to pick one winner and send a whole bunch of stuff um, to that person. Probably be a lot of makeup. I don't need more makeup. So I'll be keeping a few things. But a lot of the makeup I think I'll be giving away. So to enter this giveaway, if you guys uh, want to win a little box, um, just thumbs up the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on to receive all notifications. Oh, follow me on Instagram if you're not already. And leave a comment down below. Any comment. Doesn't matter. Just let me know that you're entering, but don't just say I'm entering. Just leave a comment pertaining to the video. Something that you like, something that you want to try, something that you have tried, whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to probably run the giveaway for like two weeks. I'll put more details down below in the description. So check that out before you guys head out so yeah that's it for this video i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my christmas i hope you guys are having a merry christmas or have had a merry had a merry christmas if you are watching this after december 25th but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to turn on your post notifications and subscribe and until next time i will see you guys in my next video